Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome again. Uh, let's continue with our next topic, um, contracts. So yesterday we have seen uh, about scheduling scheduling agreements, and uh, today we'll see and, and quantity contracts. Today we'll see about value contract. Okay, so what is what is a value contract? So. <clears throat> As I mentioned yesterday, so there are two types of contracts. So let me explain this one again. Contracts. There are two types of contracts. So one is basically a quantity contract, okay, like we have seen yesterday, and the other one is value contract. So in quantity contract, we'll say, okay, we will be buying, say, uh, ten thousand pieces of the product okay but here we talk about the value we we'll say that we'll buy of fifty thousand dollar of the product of this value okay so let's see about a value contract so value contract so again if I I need to go to VA 41 or if I use menu path Um, sales and distribution, sales, contracts, VA41, and uh, <clears throat> we need to search for value contract, and the value contract is uh, this one, WK1, so there are two types of value contract. Um, Give me a second. Okay. So let me select this one WK1 value contract journal. Okay. I will explain another one in a minute. So this is the value contract we're creating. So again, same, similar to a sales order, but little bit different. So this is my customer. Now that this screen is a little bit different, if you see, um, okay. So what happens is <clears throat> here we'll, we'll, I will give it a target value. For example, if I'm saying fifty thousand dollar or five hundred dollars, so I need to give it a value. I want to buy product of this value. Okay, I'll just just make it five thousand value. Okay, and we need to assign it as assorted as, um, assortment module. Okay, so what is the assortment module? It's like, let me show you assortment, assortment module first. So let me create one here. Let me open another screen. And uh, I need to go to, it's like a master data. If I go to logistic, um, sales and distribution, <clears throat> master data, um, products, assortment module, uh, sorry, assortments and uh, assortment again and module and this one, WS01. Okay, so here we'll define the materials that we want to assign to the contract. So if I open this one, so here just say standard module, okay, and press enter. So here we need to give it a name. Okay, so I will say um, uh, assortment module for um, for say for customer three zero one three three six. Okay, and we need to divide, define a material here. Okay, for example, I need to tell the system that what materials that I want to use for the value contract. Okay, so here I will enter the material, for example, uh, this one. Okay, I will say valid from, I can give it a valid from and valid to date. If I press enter, system will by default take today's date as valid from and feature date will be 9999. Okay, so I can add one more material. So for example, I can add say three, press enter. Okay, so I did two materials here. 
So I will be using this assortment module over there. So the assortment module number is this one. I will copy the assortment module number and save. Okay. Now I will open another screen. So here assortment module, I can search by assortment module. So I can search it here by, by different things like valid from valid to date description and all that. But because I copied the <coughs> number, so I will paste that number here and press enter. Okay, so we're saying that <clears throat> we're creating a contract of that we will the customer will be buying uh, five thousand dollar of the product out of this assortment module, module. Okay, all the products we have defined in this assortment module. Okay, so next we will save it. Okay, I will save it. System will generate a contract number for me. Okay, so the contract number is 40,208. Let me open this one and I will copy this one. Okay, okay. So the now the next part is releasing. Okay, so if I show you this one again. Um, <clears throat> release. Okay, so first step we created is value contract, then we'll create release orders. Okay, release, release order one, and then two, then order number three, and so on. Okay, so we'll create, we'll create the release order for this one. So, let me create release order. So, release order is just like creating a standard order with reference to a contract. Okay, so if I go to VA01 to create an, a new order, OR is my order type. Uh, sorry, go back one step. I need to give it a reference. So, if I click on create with reference and click on contract and here I will paste the contact number and I will say copy or item selection. If I say item selection, uh, okay, it's, it's copying the partner number. Okay, again I will click on item selection. So, it's, it's copying the uh, the data from that one okay so now what I need this is a little bit different screen so what I need to do is to click on this expand as assortment module okay so if I click on this one it will show me the materials that we have defined in the assortment module and I can select them okay so if I click on expand assortment module and this is the material is showing me for some reason it's showing me one material only <coughs> um, let me select this one and expand. Okay, let me let me select uh, ten pieces for this one. Go back. If I again click on this one, for some reason it's not showing other material. <clears throat> okay, let me continue with this one. I'll select this one and uh, click on copy okay it's doing the availability check so we created a order <clears throat> a release order for that contract okay so with reference to that contract so let me save it first if I save it Um, okay, see the contract I created was for um, five thousand dollars. Okay, but the order I'm creating here is, you can see that's a um, uh, hundred one hundred thousand thousand dollar. Okay, so system is warning me. So probably let me go to edit, and I will say just one. Press enter. Again, doing the availability check. Okay, so let me save it. Still, say, it still is higher because the con uh, contract was for five thousand, and this one is for ten thousand. Okay, so let me let me save this one and uh, just save it. And uh, if I open this order or contract, and I can see the document flow.
if I click this one, 